The Q2000 differential scanning calorimeter is an instrument that measures the heat flow of a sample as a function of temperature. It can be used for characterizing thermal transitions for a variety of materials. Unlike the Q20 DSC, the Q2000 can do experiments at controlled cooling rates. It also has an auto sampler containing 50 spots for sample pans and 5 spots for reference pans. This allows runs to be individualized and performed in succession without operator intervention. This DSC operates under liquid nitrogen. Check the liquid nitrogen amount or percent before starting a run. As a rough estimate, the minimum amount of liquid nitrogen needed for one run is around 15%, but it is recommended to keep the level at 75% if many measurements are to be performed in a given day. To fill the smaller tank that supplies the liquid nitrogen to the DSC, make sure it is securely connected to the larger bulk storage tank. Tighten the connections, but do not over-tighten. Then open the main valve. The gauge at the top shows the level of the larger tank. If it is empty, it will need to be taken down to the chemical stores to get refilled. In the software, click on Control LNCS and then Fill. Once the liquid nitrogen level reaches 75%, click the Cancel Fill option under the Control and LNCS menu. Turn the main valve off when the filling is complete. Next, you must turn on the purge gases. The DSC cell operates under helium gas. Open the main valve on the helium gas tank and then the DSC valve. This type of valve is open when it is parallel with the gas line. The base of the DSC is circulated with nitrogen to eliminate any moisture. Only open the main bottle valve for this nitrogen tank. Consult a group member if experiments under a nitrogen purge are desired. The arm of the auto sampler is calibrated to ensure accurate placement of samples inside the DSC sample cell. If the auto sampler does not perform this function, like from accidentally bumping it, consult a group member for assistance with the auto sampler calibration. Make sure the sample cell is clean before and after your test. To prepare your sample, record the empty pan and lid mass and tear the scale. For a solid sample, cut the sample and place it in the standard pan. For a liquid sample, put one drop in the bottom of the hermetic pan. Place the lid on top and put it in the proper holders. Use the blue holders for hermetic pans and the green for standard pans. Use the press kit to lightly seal the sample. Weigh the sample pan and record your sample mass in the software. Use tweezers to place the sample pan in an empty position in the auto sampler. Identify the pan number. Also press the empty reference pan and place in the proper reference pan position. Do the sample preparation and placement for all samples. Make sure the large plastic lid is properly placed over the sample holders. In the summary tab, specify the test as custom and the pan type as aluminum for a solid sample and hermetic for a liquid sample. Make sure to record the weights of the sample, empty sample pan and lid, and empty reference pan and lid. Also input the pan number or location of your sample and reference pans. Enter in your sample name and save your data in the proper folder. In the procedure tab, enter in your method. The Q2000 can start at very low temperatures and is cooled using the liquid nitrogen. In the notes tab, enter your name, sample, flow, and any additional information. Click apply to save all changes and add other runs if needed. Add a run by clicking on the add run button on the left. For each run added, the testing parameters in the summary procedure and notes must be specified. Make sure the software is set to begin with the first run. Once the software information is correct and the samples are loaded, start the experiment by clicking start the run. The machine will begin to follow the program and automatically select and place the proper sample and reference pan for the current run. One arm will transfer the samples while the other moves the outer cover. Once the run is complete, the machine will remove the previous sample and replace with the next run sample. Never manually move the sample cover or the auto sampler arm because this will disrupt the assembly alignment. This is a typical DSC graph showing the heat flow as a function of temperature. The machine will automatically begin cooling and unload the last sample at the end of the runs. After the run is completed, let the DSC cool to room temperature. Remove all samples and close the valves of the purge gases.